I saw a question online asking if you can use the Flow8 app to create presets even when you don't have access to the hardware, like an offline editor. And offline editors can be useful for a number of reasons, especially if you need to prepare for an upcoming job, but maybe all of your gear is still packed away or you just don't have access to it between gigs. So let's take a look. First up, we can create a new preset and we'll make some unique changes here that we'll want to save for later. And once it looks good, I'm gonna save it as save number one for this demo, just to keep things simple. I'll also delete my old presets here just so you can see exactly what's happening a little easier. Once we have that saved, we'll then quit the app and also unplug the mixer from power. So this will be just like opening the app if you don't have the mixer with you. When you do reopen the app, it knows that there's no mixer in range to control because it scans for that every time you open the Flow 8 control app. So we're gonna wanna hit the demo button up in the top left corner and we wanna select start new session. Now, once we do that, we get a zeroed out mixer and we can again create some unique settings that we'll want to recall later. Now you could be making another snapshot for a completely different job. And in that case, you will want to start a new session. If you're just creating another snapshot, that's an iteration. Maybe it's just another part of a show for an existing setup. You'd want to start at continue session instead of new session. And once you have your tweaks made, save a new instance of that. So once everything looks good, we can head back to snapshot library and setup, and we'll save this one as offline one. Again, just to keep it obvious here, you can use any naming convention that makes sense to you and the work that you're doing. So it did let us save a preset offline. So now we can plug the flow back in, connect back up to it. And a lot of times here we would choose continue session. And what that does is sync the app to whatever the last known state of the mixer was when it powered down. Instead of that though, we're gonna to choose to directly load a preset from here. You can see both of the snapshots we saved are right where we left them and recalling them works exactly as you would expect. Now that's pretty great for a mixer like this to have an offline editor function and it's certainly a feature that gets requested a ton on other mixers out there. It seems every time a digital mixer comes to the market, one of the big questions from everyone across the board does it have an offline editor? It's a really big deal to how a lot of people work and it's great to see Behringer including it on the Flow 8 here for people that take these things out and do a lot of gigs and you might be jumping from one job to the next and you might just not have time to get the actual hardware out every time you need to prepare for something. So really nice to see this here. That's all for this one though. Like and subscribe here if you wanna see more videos like this. You can also join the channel here for early access to future videos and other cool stuff. Thanks to everyone who supports the channel and thanks to you for watching. I'll see you next time.